tonight we are at the Christmas Nights event in Cherry Valley at the Highland Springs Ranch and Inn at 123 Farm. Yeah, 123 Farm. <laughs> and what might have been our most painful drive ever from LA. Oh my God. Uh, it was, uh, we had to stop a few times, we almost killed each other. It is a ways out here, but if you live in the uh, Coachella Valley or San Bernardino, uh, Redlands area, it's not too far, but for us LA folks, it was a trek. So hopefully it puts us in the spirit because <laughs> it was not a good mood driving out here. But it looks really pretty so far, so let's go explore. We've never been here, so I have no idea what to expect. It looks pretty so far. Yeah, so let's so go. We'll see. Let's go check it out. All we know is that there's a bathroom right in front of us, and we're going to hit that first. So this farm and ranch is also the home to the Lavender Festival. If you've ever been out here to Cherry Valley, this is where it's at. And I believe there's some lavender treats and drinks here tonight, even though it's not in season, oh, from what I believe. Sense. Yeah, lavender. lavender okay. Yep, yep. Lavender mojitos and all kinds of drinks. So we'll definitely get one of those. So this giant tree with the lights may have put me in the Christmas spirit <laughs> after that try. We're here in the lavender fields at 123 Farm in Cherry Valley. We're just north of Beaumont. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. It helps us out. Give it a big thumbs up. We have a ton of Christmas events coming up throughout the season, including the ones at the theme parks, Disneyland and Knott's Berry Farm, Six Flags, plus light events all around Southern California. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We're going to go check out the lavender fields, which I do not believe are in season right now, but they look pretty. These are the olive trees. We are inside the Organic Galleries, which is a collection of nine little shops and old, like either hotel or, uh, they look like little hotel rooms or maybe they were ranch house rooms. And you can order specialty project, uh, products. So they've got lavender soaps, oils, all sorts of things. So you walk through these little galleries, you check what you want, and then you drop it off at the front. And then you can order this. This is really cool. And it just feels neat being in these little, uh, little houses here. I wish you could smell how good these oils smell. There's a lavender, essential oil, peppermint, rosemary. They smell amazing. There's one for calm and stress relief. The stress relief after that 210 freeway drive for the 10 headache relief. Wow, this smells incredible. And you just fill out the little sheet. You uh, drop it at one of the, uh, the houses at the end and they have the order for you. These were teas, but they're actually uh, basalt vinaigrette, uh, basalt vinegar. But since this is a lavender farm, we've got to try the 123 Farm Lavender Olive Oil. Let's try that. It's basalmic lavender, basalmic vinaigrette with organic lavender from the farm right here. Oh, huh. I don't usually like. EVOO, whenever you go to like an Italian restaurant, they put it on the plate. This is, it's got that lavender. Wow, yeah, now that's, that's really, really good. Mm. Put that on the list. <laughs> Get some of that. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's very yeah. <laughs> So we're a little confused because the side says olive oil and that says vinegar, but I believe what we just tried was oil. But either way, it was really, really good. We're here in front of the Naughty Children Department and there were some pulling on the string lights over there. Report them. So 
we are at the hot cocoa store. This is a lavender hot chocolate. Let's try it. If this were ordinary adventures, this would get five Peters or five Kitchens. <laughs> That's really good. The lavender is very light. The chocolate is light. That's pretty good. The sign says, when you stop believing in Santa Claus, you get underwear. True or false? Depends on which way you're going to go in the maze here. Everybody needs one of these. <laughs> We haven't been keeping track, but there is a scavenger hunt throughout the property and also a scavenger hunt with elves. So if you're looking for something interactive while you're here, check that out. There is a whole food court with pizza, soups, burgers, hot dogs. There we go. So in addition to the lavender festival, they have a sourdough festival. So we got sourdough uh, clam chowder and a sourdough bread bowl. And I have a lavender lemonade. And then Nick got mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. And a burger. And a burger too. And I really wanted to try the pizza, but the line was a little long. So this should definitely fill us up. I don't think we'll be disappointed with this. So let's go ahead and give it a try. This is really good sourdough. It's just a regular mac and cheese? Mm hmm Regular mac they and cheese. They had one that had braised pork and a gravy. Hey. Um, How's the mac and cheese? That's good. Uh, yeah, you gotta try it. Oh, it's like creamy, creamy and cheese. Oh, hey, that's really good. Let me try my soup while you've got the camera on. Mmm. Oh, actually, that's really good clam chowder. And both the mac and the soup are really, really hot. I thought they'd be cold just because it's kind of chilly tonight. We walked a little ways to get the table, but hot and fresh, both of them for sure. Mm -hmm. Let's try this lavender lemonade. Actually, I already tried the soup. <laughs> we'll do it again for the camera. Let me act surprised like I haven't already tried it. That is delicious. Better than any of the lemonades Knott's did during any of the taste festivals. Better than any lemonade that I've ever had. You have to walk back over and get another one. And plus, we hadn't hit the bar yet. So, you see what they have there, too. But this lemonade... That clam chowder yeah, is legit. The clam chowder is absolutely delicious. It's, it's not really... It's not spicy, but it's got a really good flavor to it. It's like real mm. clam. Okay. So, if you come to this... <laughs> And you drive two hours from LA, two and a half hours, come hungry because the food is delicious. So if you do not want to sit indoors or in their dining tent, you could sit out here amongst the lit trees. It is so peaceful and relaxing. So this is a farm in addition to a the kind of mini resort with guest rooms, which uh, according to the website are not open currently, but... Almost like a guest ranch. Yeah, like a guest ranch. So this is a little information located in the low desert outside of Los Angeles. 123 Farm is nestled in the heart of Cherry Valley. Aligned with the philosophy of true organic farming, it is their mission to provide the purest form of healing botanicals. From acres of olive groves to fragrant lavender fields, our plants are hand harvested and carefully crafted into our products to provide you with natural remedies that are gentle enough for everyday use. With each harvest, hand sifted herbs and single bottled pour, it is our commitment to bring you natural products in the most earthy way we can. 
there is so much history here on this ranch to explore and learn about. Definitely know what I'm doing when I get home tonight. I'm going to read all up about this place. I guess it was Beaumont, now it's Cherry Valley. Ton of history. From the Reindeer Bar, this is the Christmas Punch. It's vodka, champagne, juices of cranberry, lime, pomegranate, orange, and the farms, I believe, own lavender syrup. Reading it here in these rustic chairs right next to this little pond. Does it get any better than this? Nick got the Rudolph's Rosé Sangria, which is rosé wine, strawberry puree, lavender syrup, triple sec, soda, and water. So there's the two drinks. Ooh. Definitely strong. That one? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think it was. Yeah, but it's good. Very good. Apparently, I just drank Nick's by accident. So, what did, Nick, what do you think of yours? It's like, it's really refreshing. It's not like overly powerful in any any flavor. I like it. It's good. Nick is trying mine. What do you think? Ooh, there's a tartness to yours. All right, let's try it. Oh, there is a tart to it. Mm -hmm. It's good, though. Oh, no, oh, I like it, it's yeah. It's cranberry. Oh, it's cranberry? Pomegranate. That's pomegranate. It it's a pomegranate, and there's pomegranates and cranberries in it. Mm. And I have to say that bar in there, because the bar is part of the resort, is absolutely beautiful. It's very nostalgic, old, but it's really pretty. Mm. And the bartender was really quick. Line was long, but she was really quick and got the drinks out. So, cheers. <laughs> So there are several additional options that you can add to your ticket when you come here to 123 Farm. One is one of these private dining rooms and one of the uh, hotel rooms here. And it seats, I believe, over a dozen people. So if you wanted to bring in your food and your beverages from here at the farm, you can do that. And I peeked in one of the windows. It looks like it's all decorated inside. So you can add that for $70. Pretty good deal. Later in the month and through the end of the event, there will be carriage rides that you could pre-book. And there's also VIP parking, which is a little bit closer that you can pre-buy the day of online when you come there was not available today and we didn't really walk very far so i don't know if that's necessary but private dining would be probably pretty cool to do if you have a group or you want to do a little party or something pets are not allowed at the event because they have their own free roaming dogs that patrol the property but uh, this one's uh sleep on duty here <laughs> he's had a little bit too much lavender <laughs> wrap up this video here in the lavender fields you can see them all lit up behind us so we started a little agitated but uh, it was worth it wasn't it yeah it was definitely <laughs> worth the drive even it's it's worth it definitely come it's really beautiful and all like just the stuff you get to see and all the christmas items that they have to sell and even just the lavender products i can't even believe all the stuff they were making out of lavender i've never even would have thought of that you can but it, it, there's a ton of shops there's the 12 shops at christmas which look like outside vendors then they have that whole row of shops that are all their own organic products that Nick yeah. was talking about. And we have the sheet. We have to go fill it out before we walk, uh, before we leave today. But there's food, there's drinks, there's an awesome bar. There's just light everywhere. A lot for the kids to see, things for the adults to do. So highly recommend. It's 123 Farm Christmas Nights here at the uh, Highland Ranch. Ranch, <laughs> something or other. One, two, three, well, farm, right, Highland Ranch. ranch yeah. Something like that. Definitely highly recommend. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not following us on social media, you can do so at the Funnel Cake Blog on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell.